Hey y'all, let's check out Duckies. Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life and today we're gonna be checking out Duckies. This is a pool hangout themed land. Um, this land is not TP friendly and I also am not in the shared environment. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So because this is a pool hangout, I wanted to just have something super simple for the pool hangout. So I got my little sunscreen with my sunglasses, simple tie back hair, no earrings because we're going to be in the pool, maybe. I have my little hat to keep the sun out. Then I have just a little one piece bikini. And then for the shoes, got my little handy dandy Birkenstocks on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do a quick pan out. Okay, so this is my outfit, you guys. So let's go ahead and continue. So this is a smaller land, but um, when I panned out, it looked like it was quite a bit here. So I felt like this would be a really nice place to show you all. This is an adult Sam, so um, kitties are not allowed. Back in the day in Second Life, um, children avatars were not allowed on um, adult sims i don't know if that has changed maybe maybe not but just to let you know this is an adult sim so this particular space is not um, meant for children so i really like this little entryway it's super pretty i love all of the um plans and this floor is this like a terracotta floor i don't know but i love the details in the floor it has a like a havana type do these open no it's just for the look it has like a havana type vibe to it so this is a small space but it is jam-packed with things so they have a little dj booth you guys know i loves me a good dj booth would say trust me you can dance i don't know about that i don't know about all that so this is super cute so i don't know if they have like parties here and things like that i was on second life um facebook side and someone had posted it in a group that i'm in and so I came here and I was like, oh, when I landed, I'm like, this is a really cool place to check out. I definitely want to check them out. So we'll look at the pool and all that in a second. I really love the little details that they have, like this little holes thing. This seems like just from what I'm saying right now, or for the water balloons and stuff, this is a really nice place or really nice space for um, pictures. So it does have a very airy summertime feel to it. I really love this house. Y'all, I wanna, um, I wanna move. I just, sometimes I get in that mood and I just wanna live in a different spot. I feel like I'm, I'm at that, that point now. So they have little snacks. So the donuts are shareable and the drinks are shareable as well with the little candle. Super nice. Y'all, so I am officially sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in Chicago, it was 80 degrees yesterday. Today, 58. Yeah, uh-huh. This is what they wanted. This is what they wanted. We're almost pretty much in the middle of May and the weather is still acting weird so hopefully we get a little bit of consistency with the warm weather very soon these drinks i know they are meant to look realistic but okay i don't, I don't really like how that looks but the, the fruit looks nice the fruit looks nice are any of these shareables no these are just decorations so the decorations are very on brand um it does have like a nice Almost like if you were in like Mexico or someplace like that, it would be a beautiful, beautiful spot like this. I think the popsicles are shareable. So the popsicles are shareable. Like I love how colorful this space is with all the flowers. And then they have like this little lamp. Super cute. 
So let's see what they have on the inside. Am I gonna have to walk over something? Yeah, but we gonna get in here. So this is a nice little open space. I really like that, what's out here. This is super cute. This is a really nice hangout. There's not anyone here right now, but that's not to say that there are that there's never anyone here. They're just not here right now. But I would imagine um hopefully more people see this space in that group and then they'll be able to come and visit because this is a super cool place. Um and to me. Let me see. What is this? So yeah, the whole cold came on last night in full effect. And you know what? I bring it on myself because I knew my son was coming down with the cold. Like he was having like the signs, but it wasn't like full blown. And I still, you know, I still be wanting to cuddle. I still want to hug. I still want to sit close together while we watch a movie, sharing popcorn and candy and stuff like that. So I brought it on myself. But the good thing about colds, you know, if you want to try to find a, a positive spot, a positive point. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little bra planter. That's cute. Is once I get the cold, he's not sick anymore. And as a parent, um, you kind of, well, me, I, I'm going to speak for myself. The type of parent that I am is I would rather me be sick than my son be sick. So if, let me see what kind of animations on here. So if I have to be sick for him to be better, yeah, because this has adult animations, then I'd rather do that. I'm fine with that. So he's doing much better now that I have the whole cold. And you know what? It's all right. Because I always say I can handle it better than he can. He'll be like miserable. I I'll be miserable too. But you know, he's younger. So it, 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 it just hits different. Look how cute this space is. I love this house. It's nice and small, but you could do a lot with it. So I want to go down here and before we check out the pool, I want to just look at the upper levels. I love when the spaces are small and they make like elevated spaces. It really gives a feel that there is more to the land or more space on the land than it actually is because they build um, up and they also occupy the out space or the the width of the land. So by building up and out, you definitely get more of a larger feel for the land. I love how they have these little duckies just sporadically placed um, in these different spaces. I really love it. I love the color combinations, how they're neutral colors, but then they'll have like a nice little pop of color. So they have like the little green strip and then this is like a magenta now this color might be different this might just look this way because of the lighting that i'm in i don't know i actually have this cheese board i don't think it's yeah it's not a shareable you can make it a shareable but it's not a shareable um yet i might kind of go off um my normal videos and kind of show you guys how i tweak oh i love this embroidery how i tweak furniture in second life to make it um very specific to me um there are sometimes i will have items where well i'll have a furniture piece where i like the furniture but i don't like the animations how to avoid everything <laughs> with a little joint i know that's right I, i'm abstaining from you know getting lifted but when i tell you it's that time i always take breaks and then you know i'll come back to it but i kind of feel like yeah this this has been like quite a long break and i feel like i am overdue definitely overdue um for a little relaxation you know what i'm saying but I love how they um, incorporate just pops of color with the neutral colors. So this is another like little side pool area with the little floaty there. I love this waterfall. You know, you guys, you guys know me. 
I love a water feature. So be mindful that because this is an adult Sam, all of the animations are going to have um, adult animations in them. So it's cool if you come here alone, but if you want to bring a little special friend, you guys will have plenty of spaces to get nice and comfy. So I really like how they made this pool area like off to the side. They have a little shower here, which I'm sure has adult animations as well. I really like this umbrella in the little pot here. Super cute, super duper cute. I really, really like this. All of the little added details, these little um, loungers look so comfy. It just really makes the space that much more personable. Oh wow, it is someone here. Okay. He's chilling, drinking his little um, drink. I really love it. I love this water feature over here with the little flamingos. Very nice. So this is a perfect um, chill out spot. And I really, really like, I love how they have the little pebbles underneath the water as opposed to like the sand or something like that. It's very um, specific to like how it would be in real life if they were like in a waterfall type setting. And I do like that. I love when the creators and the landscapers, they make sure that they add realistic elements to the space just so that it makes sense. And it's like, oh yeah, that would be right here. I feel like I sound very nasally and I do apologize for that. I'm working on it. You know, every day is going to be better. Today is like the first day. And as we know, let me back up some. When it comes to colds, once it like hits, that first day can be brutal. So I don't feel as bad as I sound, but I don't feel great. I ain't gonna lie to you. So we got more duckies. This is a, a cute little bar area. This is super nice. I love this, these little drinks. I love how the lids are on here, or they're not like your conventional little cans where how you like pop the top on the cans or not like that. This is nice. I really love this vase. They have the little lemons for the little drinks. I love this. This bar is really nice. It is really, really nice. I really like this. I love when they add like little details to things. Like they have a sink and they put something in the sink. So like it's not perfect. And in Second Life, I always appreciate the little imperfect parts. Because so many things in Second Life are just absolutely perfect and i like how they made sure that you know not everything is going to be perfect it's going to be perfect for the most part but not every single thing i love the little drink options very very nice and then they have the little swings for the seating area super cute as well this is another elevated um chill hangout spot this is nice I love this. Oh, and then it's like a little, so it's like a jacuzzi type vibe where you can come in and get your feet wet. And then you can have a seat here, lots of seating spaces. I really love this. Then you also get an overview of the whole area. That's super nice. So now we'll check out the pool really quickly. So inside of the pool, they have lots of different floaty options. And I think these are adorable. Let me see what they got going on. Let me close this box out. I love this. So cute and fun. So then you have your little drinks in here in the pool. And then they also have a lot of little floaties. They have the little duckies and a little, what is this, a flamingo with a little drink. I love it. The pool looks deep, so we're gonna see um, if that diving board um, really works. And they have like another little seating thing here with the little rug. 
So lots of seating options so that if you wanted to come here with a group of people, you could really come here and have a really, really nice time and everybody will have a place to be and something to do. And I really, really like that. I want to see what this does. Can I get on here? I don't know if I can get on here. Let's see. You can. Very nice. See, I love stuff like this. It's it's and it has its own like interactive type aspect to it. And I do like that. So be mindful that everything here does have adult animations. So if they do um allow like children to come here just be mindful that there will be adult animations and everything in my opinion this is no space for a child avatar but i'm not gonna tell you how to raise your kids i'm not gonna tell you what to take your children just saying this is not appropriate so you guys i really enjoyed coming to duckies with you guys this land is amazing there are so many things to do such a cool little hangout spot um the landmark for this place will be in the description box below so i really hope you guys enjoy this video just as much as i enjoy bringing it to you guys make sure you all like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys next time